Hi, welcome to another video of Quantity Surveying Studio. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe for more quantity surveying related videos. This video will be about daily progress report or DPR. So I'll be explaining this with a template that was useful in one of my projects when I was working in UAE. So let's understand what DPR is. So mainly it is used to monitor the daily work progress. So while monitoring, we are able to record the work details, the manpower that was used to carry out that particular work, the materials used for that particular work, Work, the equipments and machines used for that particular work. So this is the main use of a DPR. It can also be used to calculate the work efficiency. So by seeing the daily progress report, you can understand how many people or how many manpower has been used to carry out a particular quantity of work. So your management can understand if it is enough or if the manpower needs to be increased or decreased. The workers efficiency and the teams or the supervisors efficiency can be easily understood by this template and it can be also be helpful for preparing your interim payment applications especially for item rate contracts if it is a lump sum contract it is mainly your interim payment applications are prepared based on a percentage every month you can understand what work has been carried out and what percentage of work has been carried out so your boq quantity is already fixed if there is any increase then it goes into a variation but in an item rate contract you have to give a proof or a substantiation for each quantity that is being claimed in your interim payment application so for example in your project there might be different teams there might be different engineers and each engineer might be having different supervisors under him and each supervisor will be having a set of teams under him like foreman electrician plumber each team will be doing a particular work in different areas so you can get an idea of what work has been carried out by each team using this dpr so when i was working in UAE my my first work I mean my first project in UAE it was an oil and gas project so it was a very very vast project and it was an item rate contract there were a lot of items in the BOQ so it was difficult to go to the site and do a checking of what the work is being carried out so this DPR was very useful for me to prepare the monthly payment applications so what I used to do was I used to collect all the DPR of all the team that is under each engineer and I used to make a recording of each day's work and at the end of the month I used to get an idea of the cumulative amount of work for the countable items it is easy for countable items there might be a tag number so you can easily understand there will not be a repetition or duplication of your claims you will understand what all equipments or countable items has been installed at site the major problem was for the linear items like the items whose quantity is being calculated in meters or square meters like for example the cable length or the pipe length, cable trace. So these quantities was difficult to substantiate if you were going to site and just doing a site work. So with this DPR, all these details like where the work has been carried out, how much the quantity has been carried out is all mentioned. So by the end of the month, I could understand like in each area how much the work has been carried out. And with that, using a drawing, I could just see that area and do a markup of the drawings and then submit it as a substantiation with my interim payment application to the client. From this sheet, it was easy for the planning department also to understand how much man hours has been utilized till date, what are the equipments and the different plant or machineries, the hours utilized till date. So this sheet was useful for the planning department also. So I'll show you the template which I used in my project so that you can get a better understanding. So this is a template that I used in that project. Here you have all your company name, project name, project location the job number so each day you need to record here prepared by which engineer or supervisor the work details then again uh, if there is a general location here also there is for each location there might be a team doing some work in different locations so you can mention that each separate locations then the manpower utilization the equipment machinery plan utilization the material used so with this sheet when i get a daily I could record the works of each day. I used to spend some time for recording all the DPR that I used to get from the different team. And then at the end of the month, I used to get that cumulative amount of work done and use it to 
mark up the drawings and then submit the payment application to the client so i'll just give an example i'm not filling off these details so here if on maybe on 1st feb 2021 prepared by aaa type of work was like electrical maybe cable, electrical cable tray installation or in type of work you can just mention what is the general thing you can mention so it's an electrical type of work so one this team team of aaa did a cable tray installation work so the quantity installed was maybe 50 meters so tag number is not required here if it is an equipment or a countable item you can mention your tag number location was like northeast planned or something like that so again they installed a panel installation of panel they installed one just one panel so you can give a tag number of that panel 1 2 3 4 that was in the southeast plant so then here you can just mention the manpower used electrician there were three people used three electricians start time 8 maybe 8 am to 4 pm just need to make the format right so total number of hours 8 hours again area is maybe for cable tie installation it was eight people so northeast plant and again electrician two numbers were used same time this was used in southeast plant for the installation of panel so you get your manpower details here then the equipment machinery plan details so this change here manpower is not manpower or you can just mention so equipment machinery plan details you can just mention like just for example jcb was used one number or generator was used or some vehicle was used just that timings also you can just mention here eight hours northeast plant then the materials maybe since you have installed cable tray so cable tray 50 meters was installed and the panel so these were the materials that was used one number of panel was installed once the work is completed your supervisor will be filling up the details and the next day they will get it signed from they will sign here and they will sign get it signed from the consultant and client representative so once this is signed off this becomes an official document so this is for 1st february every contract has a cut off date for submitting the invoice so for example if it is the every month first week so you collect all your dpr from 1st feb to 28 feb and then you make a cumulative sheet so you will understand in that month what all works have been carried out and all your sheets will be officially signed off by the client and that will be one document for your interim payment application then you will need to highlight in the drawings also each item and with that you can easily claim your interim payment applications and the client or the consultant can also easily check verify and certify your bills so this is a very useful sheet so hope this video was informative please do like if you have found it to be useful please do put up your email id so that i can share this template if you require it thanks a lot for watching take care bye